Hey guys, welcome to Crosshair Media. I am Smurf Nan, and I am today going to tell you about the maximum power of Saitama. Many people say that his maximum strength is just multi-star level, or he can defeat Goku, or he just can destroy planet. Nothing more than else. But I want to say, if you seen. the series of one punch man you know that uh, he didn't even get single scratch during the whole series he just needs single pin to destroy every enemy because he is just too strong to be defeated even the creator of one punch man the one didn't even reveal the full strength of satima not even weakness not even strength there is just some fan makes the videos which uh, makes us limited and dragon ball the fans which say he cannot defeat goku etc 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 and, et cetera, et cetera. and uh, we have only one option to check the satima's full strength it's only one punch man anim or manga in the one punch man people say in the ending the villain boros was very weak all the dbz fans say that If you say, if you see One Punch Man very carefully, you will understand Boros wasn't weak. He has enough power to destroy a planet, and he has the power to kick a person who fell on moon directly. And next thing, people say um, Satama can defeat Boros with just one punch. He takes a lot of punches to defeat Boros, uh, but here. In the video you can see that uh, uh, Satama was only defending himself. He just fighting. He th he thinks Boros can give him an actual fight which he wants. He was hungry for a good fight. So, as you can see in this video, he is only defending himself. He is not a attacking. not even a bit and second fact if boros didn't have his amazing regeneration ability he would be dead very soon with the one punch actually as you can see there is a quick punches which this uh, shattered the parts of boros and fact three saitama final move wasn't his full strength because he said secret technique serious punch matlab he was it his punch was just a part of his serious technique list as you can see when boros uh, shoots this uh, energy beam pan destruction and then satayama uses this serious punch he hits the direct the beam and uh, then he didn't reflect many people say that a beam deflect and get back and hit the boros but it didn't happen it just vanished with the punch and the after effect of punch he was able to kill the boros saitama didn't even actually use his full strength even the final fight with the boros he didn't land his punch directly on boros he just moves in fist in air and everything happened he is way beyond the power of everyone imagines because he didn't even get a single damn scratch during first to last series episodes not even one time let's take the example of dragon ball z if uh, in saiyan sega goku become ultra instinct you know all know power of the ultra instinct how much and then raditz come then he defeated raditz you know the power level of raditz so then 
will it become the maximum power of the Goku? Think it yourself. If the villain is weak, it doesn't mean the hero who's been defeating it is giving his full to defeat it. In front Punch Man, Saitama just finished Boros very easily. He didn't even do hard work. He was just playing around and he just finished him. If you guys still think I am wrong, go and check uh, once again. Watch uh, 1 to 12 episodes of uh, One Punch Man. Watch it very carefully. Of Satama's actions, what Satama did, and what the Satama's reactions. Then you will understand what I am going. I am telling you here, and you will understand very easily. Thank you guys if you like the video just give me a thumbs up and if you don't like or like whatever just comment please it will help in my next video and please subscribe.